Hey folks, we're going to go over a couple of things today. The next cycle uptick, we're going to go over the story from this morning's news talking about how bad the sun can actually get and uh, some stuff on the back end as well. So let's start with this. If you've been watching for a while, you know that there have been plenty of peer-reviewed studies, we've gone over those, about a 5.9 month solar activity cycle where within the 11 year sunspot cycle of up and down, sunspot maximum and sunspot minimum, every 5.9 months there's a peak in activity. And there's a smaller peak on about the three month half cycle of that 5.9 month cycle, which basically might as well be six months. You know that we have been doing this for almost about a year now, tracking when the next ones are going to be. They have been perfectly on point. Here we are in May. We have had a little bit of a solar uptick in terms of sunspot production. This is the three month half cycle. And so let's look about 2.9, three months ahead. And we're beginning of August to late August for the full 5.9 month cycle uptick. That is when we should be expecting even higher solar activity. So end of the summer should bring some fireworks on our star. Now, we went over this paper this morning, and this one was a nice one-two punch. Now, this is in a journal called Living Reviews of Solar Physics. This paper was originally published in 2008, but this living review means it's like an alive paper. Once it is peer-reviewed, the author can go in and make updates and make updates, and it just goes through another minor review. And Yusoskin has been updating this one every couple of years for 15 years now, and it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, we showed this, the long-term sunspot activity cycle. This is critical for the climate change aspect of everything. Not only is the sunspot grand maximum that we had in the 1900s, arguably the strongest solar activity of the entire Holocene, this entire interglacial, definitely the last 9,000 years. Um, about 5,000 years ago, there was a uptick that came very close. But during this latest one, we have seen the Earth's magnetic field has been weakening. That's the main thing we talk about this at this channel. The 12,000 year cycle, Earth's magnetic field weakens, Earth's magnetic pole shift. Less protection from energy from space combined with the greatest solar activity of potentially the last 9, 10, 12,000 years is an enormous player in the climate changes that we are seeing in the world today. And this is not something new. We've mentioned this before, but nice little reminder of it here with the paper. Perhaps the more interesting part of this paper, though, was the GLE chart. Now, GLE simply just means ground level enhancement. That's when we get a solar storm from a solar flare that is so powerful, it enhances at ground level the space-borne radiation and cascading breakout particles from that space weather event. Now, the biggest one on record was about 70 years ago. We've had some big ones since then, but nothing has matched that one. And that one was pretty phenomenal. In fact, if we had another one of those today, we would almost certainly have significant regional technological issues. Uh, there would be major problems. They would definitely reroute every airplane from around the polar regions to have them avoid that particle impact. But when you take a look at how much stronger some of the other ground level enhancements have been, I mean, the, the biggest ones that we can actually detect in the geological record were 60, 70, 80 times as bad as that. That's the kind of thing that we are not only expecting in the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years as the cycle for those suns super flares is about up right now. I mean, any time now. If it happened next week, I wouldn't be shocked. If it happened 20 years from now, I wouldn't be shocked. Combine that with Earth's weakening magnetic field and Observers, you know we have been watching and seeing that the level of geomagnetic disruption, the KP index, the magnetometers, the extent of the auroral oval has been way worse 
than should normally occur. And of course, the best explanation for this is that Earth is becoming more vulnerable as its magnetic field weakens, as the magnetic poles are shifting. This chart gives a little window into how powerful of a punch the sun can actually throw at the Earth. And again, that is what we're waiting for. Um, lastly, today, the latest issue of Observer Review came out. Uh, so far, it is a 100% five-star customer reviews on this. Guys, even if you watch every day, and I mentioned this this morning, it is virtually impossible to keep in your head everything that we go over in a month's time. These reviews take all the most important information, pack it into a concisely and clearly summarized uh, e-magazine format. And I think it's a really important uh, thing to not just be present and keeping up with what's happening on a day-to-day -day basis, but being able to put those things in context and remembering all of the important things that happen each month, not to mention the fact that right now our e-magazine, probably the number one way you can support the channel here. And we greatly appreciate that. Uh, also have a, in addition to a link to the e-magazine below, you also have a link to where you can get shirts like this. Yes, we have space weather news and suspicious observer gear, but we also have things that are guaranteed to uh, either get you high fives or get you some very offended looks. But uh, either way, that's, that's the goal, I suppose. So hope these little reviews were helpful. Again, we greatly appreciate your support and I will see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.